wonderful to be with you again for another five minute seminar and we've got some very very special truths to share with you you know the one thing about the Word of God in the New Testament in particular is that it's explaining to us what we have when we come to know the Lord and uh, really when we receive the Lord the person of Jesus into our life we actually receive everything we receive the kingdom of God we receive all the promises of God we receive everything that God wants to give we receive in the person of Jesus but then we spend the rest of our lives discovering what we actually have already in him so I want to just share with you a couple of things here today firstly when you are born again and you're born again when you receive the Lord as your Savior and when this happens uh, God gives us a special gift he doesn't wait for us to grow to, to a certain point where we get additional promises and additional things from him gifts but he, we, we've received those gifts all in the person of Jesus and the very first thing that he does for you and me is that he gives us a special position Ephesians 2 verse 6 says that when Jesus rose from the dead we were raised up together with him to be seated together with him in heavenly places in Christ. In other words, we're given a special position. He takes us right to the very center of the throne of God, right from the very first moment that we're born. Now, we don't get anything from God by what we do. We get everything from God, from God by what he has done. And so this is like a royal birth. When we are born into the kingdom of God, and Jesus said, you must be born, into the kingdom of God you must be born again otherwise you can't enter into the kingdom but when we receive Jesus we are born again and now he puts us in a special position straight away now you might think that by good things that I do or something like that I could actually attain to this or I could grow into a higher position but with God he gives it to you right at the beginning gives you this special position of being seated together with Christ now when you're seated it means you're at rest there's nothing more for you to do because Jesus has done everything and in the Bible it talks about the finished work of Christ so when he died for you it was a finished work nothing can be added to it nothing can be taken away from it and we're given this wonderful position to start our life and and so really uh, the throne of God is our orientation although we're living on the earth we are seated together in Christ in the spirit with him right from the beginning that means that now I can handle all of life's problems from the throne room and so when I get into problems on the earth here I can go immediately into prayer and talk to the Lord about it from the throne of God even I can get a, a new perspective because when I when I look at things upon the earth here and the problems and the difficulties and I look at it from a heavens viewpoint it's never as big as what it is when we're uh, messing around with it on the earth and so we can talk with the with the Lord and say well now Lord what do you think about this and he'll say well you know it doesn't look so bad from here does it when you look at it from this viewpoint so this is a wonderful experience that we can now enjoy life from the throne room and it's from the throne room that we handle the situations of life then God has given us another promise that goes along with that in Ephesians 1 and verse 3 it says God has so that's past tense now when you look at the scriptures you need to always look at the tense of those scriptures is it past tense is it present or is it future now this is a past tense in other words this gift has been given to us that he's talking about it's already been given and so he says God has blessed you the scripture says God has blessed us that means he has blessed you he has blessed me and it goes on to say God has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ so this means that you've been blessed with every spiritual blessing I've been blessed with every spiritual blessing now isn't that wonderful so here you've got two wonderful truths number one you when you're born and you enter into the kingdom by believing on Jesus that moment he gives you a special position and it's from that position you handle life then secondly you you must realize that God has blessed you with all the blessing with every blessing 
in Christ in heavenly places. And so you are a blessed person. So you never again have to think in terms of, well, I need the blessing of God. I, maybe I don't deserve the blessing of God. Maybe I'm unworthy. No, 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 no. God is the one that makes us worthy. And the Christian life is not based upon attainment. That's religion. Uh, that, uh, if, if you're trying to get to, to any position with God through what you do, you'll never make it. Because we get there, it's not by, uh, by attainment, but it's by atonement. The new covenant God's made with you and with me is an atonement. Jesus died on your behalf, on my behalf, so that I could be free. And so the scripture says to stand fast in the liberty. Uh, Galatians chapter 5 verse 1 says, Stand fast in the liberty wherewith Christ has made you free, and return not again to the yoke of bondage, not again to your self-effort, not again to religion, not again to the, the road of attainment, but, but you are birthed into the atonement, and your special position is seated together with Christ in heavenly places, and your special blessing is that he's blessed you with every spiritual blessing in Christ. Are these wonderful truths? You can guarantee they are. And this is where God wants us to walk. Isn't it wonderful? It's so good to be with you today and just share the wonderful word of God and the promises of God. The Lord bless you. Our prayers are with you.